hope you found these conversations with our guests helpful. If, unlike some of them, you did not start your preparation for life after PhD before you started or at the very early stages of the PhD, and you're about to complete your PhD, it is time to start preparing. You're never too late or too early. At the very least, or at least a year or so before completing your PhD, you should start preparing for your post-PhD life. Some universities offer resources to navigate this life that awaits most PhD students. The resources range from workshops on preparing for interviews, writing grant proposals, career counseling services, and sometimes workshops on networking or building collaborations with others or finding mentors and so forth. There are also conferences. Some of these conferences are local conferences, others are international. Some happen online or face-to-face. -face. All of these conferences are designed specifically and they are targeting PhD students who are about to complete. While jobs are often advertised, what seems as important as scrolling through websites is word of mouth, informing all your networks about your pending completion and asking them to keep you in mind should anything appear. What's been emphasized a lot by colleagues and those who've completed their PhDs is the importance of keeping the end in mind as a way of motivating yourself and as you near the sometimes daunting end. Remember to take very good care of your mental health as it can be rather tough balancing all the demands, the demands to complete and complete well and the demands to start putting yourself out there and looking or applying for jobs. What has consistently come up from our guests is the importance of cultivating very good and solid networks and relationships and keeping in constant touch with people who could serve as your referees. This is very crucial. Everything after PhD requires lots of references, whether you're applying for a job, for funding, for promotion, to attend a workshop or for other opportunities. With the long waiting period between completion or submission and getting a job, you want to start thinking about and applying for possible sources of financial support for that waiting period very early in the PhD journey. Lastly, there are a lot of websites, blogs, books, and scholarly articles that have been published on the same issue. Read through them, see what works for you, and take that. I wish you well in the slack of your PhD studies.